Hi, welcome back to yet another video. For those of you who do not know, I'm kind of a fish head. I really enjoy fish. We got a 10 gallon tank about four months ago and I've been nothing but obsessed. So today, my wife and I, she approved, she gave me the green light to go and triple the size of our tank. And so this is us setting up the tank. It's gonna take like a week for it to get all set up for fish to actually be in it, but Nonetheless, here's the process of the new fish habitat. this point, all we could do is wait. We had to wait for the water to get to the perfect pH levels before we even thought about putting a fish in there. Because the most tragic thing that could happen is having all my fish pass on to the fish heaven in transfer. Then I would just honestly throw the tank away and give up as a fish father. So we waited. <laughs> The time has come. This cabinet's open. Time for the first transfer of the fish. So we're gonna scoop out some platies. Ha <laughs> All right, one successful capture. Sucker! Oh, right up close. All right, we got two. It's gonna be okay. There. You guys will be fine. You guys are the warriors. I believe in you. was the foot in the fish tank. We brought a new fish home. What kind of fish was it? A guppy. Oh. Guppies are bad fish. I'm sorry if you have guppies and you like guppies. They are objectively terrible fish. That's the second guppy. I gave it a second chance. I thought my first guppy was a bad boy. My second guppy was trying to fight every single fish that I had. So we returned his ass back to Petco and now we have a new fish. You can kind of see. Sort of. There it is. This face looks funny. Turn. Show them. Show the camera. Oh my goodness. So, unnamed fish coming home. This is the, I don't know, fifth time been at Petco in the last two days setting up the aquarium. So, get home. We're about to transfer the fish into the new tank because all the pH levels are perfect. Literally A++. And so, it is time for the fish to roll tide into their new home. Ted, hang out. You're so close to being done. Uh, new guy, you doing great? You're doing great. We have this rock stack now, if it'll focus. There it is. It's a little rock formation for them to crawl in and out of. Ted, you're gonna be so excited. There's two logs for you, several rocks, a skull, other new guy. You kind of look like that fish. You're doing good. I don't like that I can see inside you, but nonetheless. See, if you look closely here, you got Ted's eye in the tooth. Ted found his way into the skull. He likes the smallest little holes. Look at him. Oh my god, that's kind of terrifying. Ted! 
good. You're so scary. So we have a little baby and we have Moo. Explanation is needed. The baby, right? One day we looked in the tank and there was just a baby fish. We have no clue whose fish this baby is. But we've seen this before. In the past, there's been baby fish, but they're always eaten before they get to be big enough or they get caught up or whatever it may be. Because we're not really looking to breed fish, so we're allowing natural selection to happen. But this baby was like the most courageous baby and was always out kicking it with the other fish, even when it was like this big. And it's grown and it's so big. And you can see in the process of the video from when we transferred it into the tank to the latest video, it's it's getting big. It's almost the same size as Clementine, which is gnarly. So sad for Clementine though, because Clementine is the OG fish and she's still so small. But the baby was born in the tank, only knows the tank. And I think that that's really cool. Like it feels like we have our own little ecosystem in there and it's so exciting. So shout out to the baby. But not the baby, because he's a bad guy. Oh my goodness, he found the rock. So as you saw, we successfully were able to transfer all the fish, return the terrible, terrible guppy back to where it belonged, hell. And everything seemed well. So fast forward a few weeks, gearing up to leave the house, and I look into the tank and something doesn't feel right. And the first question I ask is, where's Panda? Now, I haven't lost a fish yet, and so when I looked into the tank and I saw Panda with no eyes or fins, it made me really sad. I guess Panda got Popeye disease, and it's hap there's so many different variables to getting that, that it's really hard to prevent. Um... And typically they're able to, if there's the first infection, they're able to get past it. But if there's a second infection, it terminates the fish. And so unfortunately that's what happened to Panda, Moose, little baby, brother slash sister. And that uh, made me really sad. So I had to scoop Panda out and put Panda into fish heaven. Um, it didn't feel right replacing Panda with another balloon molly because I guess there can only be one moo. So after a little bit of time grieving, I got past the stage of denial and moved into acceptance. I moved past bargaining and I moved into replacement. It was time for a new fish because the way that the tank works, everybody has a buddy except for Ted. Ted, he's a monster. He just likes to eat poop and whatever's at the bottom. So we let Ted live. Ted does Ted. Ted kicks it in the skull. But everyone else needs a friend. So we go to the store and we pick up this guy. I just had the idea of getting a fish tank back in March. And knew nothing going into it. And so we went and then we found out a bunch of information and learned with our little 10 gallon tank. And then I kind of became a little bit of a fish head and learned a bunch of stuff and really got into it. And I think that it's really interesting how you can feel love for these little fish who probably don't really know that you exist outside of feeding them and how excited I get when they swim towards me, even though they're just wanting food. Um, so if you're thinking about getting a fish tank, just you know, prepare to expand your heart with some love for some fish. 
they honestly like I think about them when I'm at work and they're like my little kids and I, I love them very much and it's so fun to take care of them it's fun to go to the pet store and get them new toys or learn more about you know their eating habits and things like that creating the best possible environment for the entirety of their life and hoping to make sure that they have the best life they could possibly have I really care about these fish and I just want them to live their best life and I enjoy watching them live their best life. about getting a fish tank my recommendation is to do some research ahead of time because it is a lot more involved than you would expect I thought you just get water throw fish in there have a great time definitely not the case if you want them to thrive I recommend not only researching like one website but maybe cross-referencing a few just to kind of get the full scope of the information because it does feel like a lot of like fish information is opinion based and experience based but if you can kind of gather all these things you can be like okay this is what's actually going on there's a lot of really cool fish youtube channels fish tiktok channels just look up fish talk you'll be lost and so inspired on you know decorating your tank taking care of your fish there's these people that have their fish doing tricks i don't even understand maybe one day i'll elevate to that level of consciousness but nonetheless, I would recommend doing a little bit of research and not just like going out on a whim. Know that when you buy your tank for the first time, it's going to be a solid week or so before you can put fish. So don't get fish that first day because they they should not be living in plastic bags. Um, things I wish I would have known before we got the very first one because we went up to the counter and the guy was like, you know, these fish are going to die. And I was like, what? Bill, excuse you, my fish will not die. And so I was determined to make sure that the tank would work. And luckily, Clementine, Marcel, Tiki, the OGs, they're still kicking it. They've made it through two tanks. They've seen all these fish come and go. Well, only really come to go. The guppies hate the guppies. But nonetheless... Thank you for watching. Hopefully you're inspired, maybe even learned a thing or two. It was a semi-educational moment for you and I. I've been talking for eight minutes about my fish because I love them so much. So if you did make it to the end of the video, shout out to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.